ボードでは夏休みのスケジュールはお決まりですか貴重な夏休みを余すことなく有意義に過ごすために内部生の方はもちろん外部の方でもインターとアバスはご相談を受け付け中です席は限られますのでぜひお早めにお問い合わせください One step ahead. Hi everyone! Welcome back to PR2! Today I will continue talking about potatoes. Let's begin! The potato is the world's fourth most important crop after rice, wheat, and maize, and the first among non grains. How could an Andean tuber persuade the world in just a few centuries to adopt it so completely? What made the potato so irresistible was its unrivaled nutritional value, its relative easiness to cultivate as compared to some major cereals, its ability to easily navigate words and tax censuses. Due to its knack for hiding underground from practice, and in particular, its camaraderie with working men and women in the fields. A good place to understand its origins is the Central International de la Papa, CIP, or International Potato Center, a research for development center that researches and promotes all things potato related. It's set in an arid suburb in the Peruvian capital, Lima. And harbors a collection of thousands of potato samples from across the continent. The Andes is where the biggest genetic diversity lies, but you can find potatoes from Chile to the United States. Rain Gomez, senior curator at the CIP Gene Bank, told me there. He explained that potatoes were domesticated high in the Andes near Lake Titicaca, nearly a thousand kilometers southeast of Lima. Following domestications, these early potatoes spread through the Cordillera and became a crucial food supply for indigenous communities, including the Inca, particularly as a staple foodstuff called chuno, a freeze dried potato product that can last years or even decades. That's all for today. See you!